Hello. Did you click on the title thinking you were going to see what the title was suggesting you were going to see? Well, that's not going to happen. You got clickbaited. back at it again working on the uh, drag car Civic that we've been working on here. Charlie's been hard working on working on the drag car, trying to get it ready to go down the drag strip, working hard. Charlie is installing the intercooler piping. Yes, we love our snap on go. We do like to read your comments and try to respond accordingly when we have time. Come on, Charlie, put it in there. My battery's dying. Okay. Still gotta take that coupler off. You weren't even ready. I'll just say get it ready. That's right, people. Do them. Edit half that shit up. Thank you. All right, so we got our intercooler popping on. Um, we're still waiting on our turbo to be finished being rebuilt. It's a Turbonetics. Uh, we're gonna mount it up in here, obviously. Maybe we could try to put a radiator in it. Let's do that. Dropping the radiator in with our white hoses. Can you get in there? You, just, you gotta put it in there, girl. You got your feet. There you go. Hold on. Always have spare parts like this guy. Now this is a B16 head, so it has the longer hose, upper radiator hose. OEM plug. Show them how it plugs up. Look at that. Look at that plug, playboy. On a slim fan. Okay. OEM. Okay. All right, all right. Plug and play. All Ta -da. right. Okay, guys, I have a big correction to make. I may have made a mistake in the last video with shouting out the injector wire pattern so uh, the actual correct wiring for the injectors one two three four is brown red blue yellow yeah so apologize for the last video where i said it wrong that's the actual way to do it my boy loves some damn zip ties zip ties for life budget drag car bro budget drag car What's more budget than zip ties? More zip ties! Get it on film. Check out this. This is the official half ass way to mount a reservoir tank here. Uh, what we got is uh, some zip ties, uh, you know, just for extra measure for no real reason. You know, we're just, we just like zip ties. You know, it's not a daily driver. It's a... Uh, she didn't got headlights. She don't even have headlights, you know what I'm saying? She got headlights, but they don't work. No power switching. No power steering, no lights. She got brake lights, I think, maybe. We don't know. Okay, Charlie, what do we got left to do on this pig? Ground, check for fuel leaks. Put the turbo, the manifold on. Battery. Wire up the boost gauge, the wide band. Put the exhaust on. Do a oil change. A lot of new washer on the new drain plug, do an alignment, 
Anybody want to buy this thing? I think we just want to sell it and get out of the game. No? We're close. Tell us, who's uh, rebuilding your turbo? Kyle Weiss from Street Techniques. Yeah. Boy, what's going on? If you boy? need Mazda parts, you scratch and sniff the screen right now for your boy, Alex Todd, Mazda parts importer extraordinaire. You need any Mazda parts. Miata. Other cars that are Miatas. What do you mean? Other Miata cars. It's also building an Exo set too. For those who don't know, our next door neighbor, our next door neighbor is Alex Todd, who is scratch and sniff for Mazda parts. So, anybody out there that has a Miata or Mazda, you can still holler us to get parts. We'll give you contact information. He's got everything. Everything. It's kind of dark in here, but he keeps everything. Gauge clusters, valve covers. He'll even repowder coat them for you. Rare stuff. Ooh, he's got light in this thing. Door panels, interior, radiator. Jesus Lord. And just in case you need some real stuff, my man got trannies for days. Playboy. All these hoods, dashes. Alex Todd, would you like to plug your own business? Nope. All right, you can contact him at however the fuck you can contact him if you need anything and everything Mazda. I came out of retirement. Uh oh, he came out of retirement. Back in, back in the saddle again. I came into retirement. I'm supposed to be on my way to Carson Coffee right now, but that is not happening. I've gotta go help Charlie pick up a car. Of all the Civics not to buy, I would not suggest buying an 01 to 05 Civic. Why? Yeah, own head gasket problems. All the time. Guess or, what? Or transmission. That's shitty transmissions too. If it's automatic. Yeah. But what are we gonna go buy, Charlie? 03 Civic. With a bone head gasket. <laughs> we keep them alive so you can survive. There's some people. They blow that head gasket up and they're like, man, I think we're just gonna scrap this one, Uncle Ricky. And then that's when we come along and said, listen here, boy, don't you scrap that car. We here on Honda enthusiasts. We like to resurrect and bring these Hondas back to the street. Cause you know what I mean? Like you see like an old rust bucket on the side of the road. The whole shit, my grandpa had one in back when he was high school. That's like a 1955 Chevrolet, Tumasaga, whatever the hell. And you know, it's just sitting there rusting away, not getting used. Nobody gets to play with it. We bring it back to life so you can get another 200,000 miles out of it. You can drive it, you can play. Yeah. You could okay. be in the family. My arm's tired. Dude, let's get some Starbucks. There's no Starbucks out here. Let's get some. Only rapists. Um, here's the thing our YouTube channel is to show you how you can work on your car, not for you to bring <laughs> us your car. <laughs> I'm Mark McKenzie. Welcome to another episode of Honda Street Garage. Today, we're gonna learn about nothing. That's every episode. <laughs> She's almost ready. She's almost ready. Just another eight more months. And another harness. Country boy Puerto Ricans represent. <laughs> this thing looks like a hunting mobile, right? Where'd you get the hat? Huh? Walmart. Texas Roll House.